Hello everyone. <laughs> How y'all doing out there, man? I hope y'all doing good. You know, staying safe and just staying alive. So oh man, I'm a little annoyed because this is like my third time recording this same video, this this same topic. But the grind don't stop. I'm not gonna let it stop me, okay? I was just having trouble with my Blue Yeti mic. That's what I'm using right now, okay? I was having trouble with it. The sound was just distorted and whatnot, so whatever. <laughs> I, I don't I didn't want this topic to go to waste, so I'm talking about it again, okay? So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by, just checking out my content. You know, you'll, you'll enjoy my content, okay? Because I try to look at things from both sides. I try to be as objective as I can be, even with topics that I know could be become very personal. I try my best to look at, look at things from both sides and be objective, okay? So if you're new to my channel, welcome and hit that four-point play for me. When I say that, I know that's basketball terms, but I'm saying that in terms for me, you know? Hit that like button, help me hit my like goal. You know, when you leave a like, it helps me out a lot it tells me that there's people who you know like my content you see what i did there <laughs> there's, there's people out there who like my content enough to just click that thumbs up button okay leave a comment you know if you agree or disagree with, with what i'm saying that helps me out a lot too because that lets me know that okay there's people who actually listen to what i'm saying or actually cared enough to leave a comment you know on my video whether you agree or disagree, I'll, I'll take it. Just leave it respectfully, and I'll appreciate it, okay? Click click that subscribe button to become a part of the process. When I say that, I mean the process of actual studio, actual setup, actual face cam to do these videos, actual place I could comfortably do these videos, okay? And then the last part of the play is clicking that notification bell because I don't have a set schedule for these videos. I just upload when I can and when a topic you know I feel strongly about. And I'm able to upload it, okay? I'm able to write down a decent amount of notes for it. And I'm able to comfortably articulate my thoughts in a video, okay? Okay. So, it's topics like this, honestly speaking, <laughs> that gets me really excited to make a video. You know what I mean? Because, like, I wasn't expecting it to be a big deal, this topic in particular. But... I've been wrong before, like many of the videos I did and I actually talked about, I didn't expect it to be big at first, but then you give it a day or two or something like that, the social media, I don't even, like, I don't even know what you call them, but the social media heads that stay on social media make things bigger than what it should be or what I expected it to be, but I'm not complaining because it gives me ideas and it gives me topics to talk, to, to talk about in the video, okay? Now, to the topics at hand, okay? It's plural. It's manifesting love slash law of attraction slash double standards. And yes, all of these topics are social topics. That, like, once again, if you're new to my channel, that's what I try to do. I try to keep it social topics related, okay? Topics that we can all talk about and be comfortable enough to talk about it. And I don't mind talking about it at all because I know we're getting, we're getting older now. You know, these are things that we should be open enough to talk about without cri criticism. I know there will always be that criticism, but, you know, as long as we could get a safe space to talk about these things with other people, you know, we can mature and we could grow. So, okay. So the whole law of attraction is something... At least, this is just my opinion, okay? I know other people might look at it differently and have different views on it, but I feel like it's it's become popular in the last few years, okay? Definitely popular on social media because I don't remember... I, I can't tell you if I've even seen Law of Attraction, anything related to that, like when Facebook first started, before IG became a thing, before WhatsApp and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Now you see law of attraction damn near every post. <laughs> oh, you see law of attraction so often that, like, if you were on social media from since like AIM, you know, AOL Instant Message, there was no law of attraction anything. At least in my, you know, maybe, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I feel like law of attraction became popular in the last few years, definitely on social media. And I'm, but I'm sure there's people who've been practicing this thing, 
of what law of attraction is for many generations and whatnot, but what law of attraction is now and what it's known to be like all throughout social media, I definitely think it became popular recently, like as of like maybe two to three years ago. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below if you if you notice law of attraction and the whole manifesting things and speaking things into existence before. But definitely for me, at least in my viewpoint, it became really popular in the last few years. And manifesting love, it goes hand in hand with that. Because the law of attraction is speaking things into existence. Like taking things from your thoughts, you know, your prayers and whatnot into actual reality, turning your dreams into reality, if you believe in that. You know, manifesting love is, you know, making something happen in your love life. You know, it goes from your mind into the world. And this is something I didn't write in my notes, but it's something I, I thought of when I first recorded this video, okay? <laughs> when I first recorded the audio. When you speaking things into existence, be careful who you say it around. That's one. Be careful where you say it. That's two. And just be careful all around. Like, be careful who you, like, be careful who you're trying to manifest this thing around. Because people don't always have the best interest at heart for you. It's apparent to a lot of people who have the, the street sense or the, you know, people sense. But a lot of people don't. And just be careful because you may be saying you're praying for this, you're working for this for the longest and it never happened. You're telling the wrong people. Or you're saying it in the wrong place. Like, I understand you get down on your knees, you pray to your God or whoever you pray to. I'm just saying God because that's who I pray to. And you want in this thing to manifest itself. If you're telling people, like in person, you got to stop telling them. Like, speak it into existence. Speak it to yourself. Go in your, go in your car or whatever. Go in your room. Speak it there. Or if you have to keep it in your head and just say it in a very low voice to where no one can hear you but yourself and whoever you're praying to, you got to say it like that. It's all those little things that speaking it into existence plays a role in. Uh, but, 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 that's not the <laughs> that's not the actual topic of the video. That's a whole separate thing I, I, I could get into, but that's not w what I'm here to talk about. So, be Simone. And if you don't know who she is, she's very attractive. Go look her up. B. Simone. I'm just saying, you know, maybe speaking that into existence. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I'm just joking though. But she had some interesting things to say about manifesting love, you know, slash law of attraction. Which I had to talk about because I'm very, very glad she brought up the double standards that many people have. She and her, in the post that I'll link in the, the clip that I'll link in the description... She mostly attacked women, but I can attack both sides, okay? That's what I try to my best to do. Now, people in general have this set list of things they look for in a partner and whatnot. And I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what you have to say. You have a list somewhere. It may not be written down. I know you may not want to admit it, but you have a list somewhere of a few guidelines. Like, okay. This person has to at least meet three of these things. If he doesn't or she doesn't, there's nothing to even discuss. There's, not, there's nothing that could potentially happen. If he doesn't or she doesn't at least meet three of these things on this list. But the issue comes into play. And this, is, this was her main thing. Main, uh, this was B. Simone's main point. You can't even check off half of the stuff on your own list for yourself you know like for instance how you want a man that's six four with a six pack when the only six pack you know is a bear you get what i mean like you want the man he got to be in shape he got to be clear skin and when i say that i don't mean light skin i mean acne free skin yet you ashamed of your own body and your face is pimple ridden Oh, it's, it's all of that stuff. It's the double standard. Or how you want a man that's making six figures when you're barely making five. And I'm not just calling out the women. Because men is the same thing. Like men out there. How you want a video vixen woman, like, you know, hourglass shape, when you're ashamed of your own body. 
your gut is hanging off. You can't even see your your own private when you peeing. It is it goes hand in hand. For women, they have I know they have these big double standards, but men we have it too. I'm not gonna lie, as men we have it too. I could call them out too. I could call out myself. <laughs> I could be very double standardy. <laughs> I know that's not a real word, but I'm just saying when it comes to this. But I'll admit it though. Women, she I know uh, B Simone came and attacked women because they could be very double standardy and not want to admit it. Like this man got to be six four, he got to be a ball player or whatnot, and you working at McDonald's. Like, huh? Make it make sense in my mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's it's those little things. But I'm not just attacking the women. A guy out there, how you want a, a model? Yet you're not doing anything with your life. And uh, and here's a, here's a disclaimer too. This is not to say that you can't get that person. Because it's possible. It's not impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. It is possible. But it's very unlikely. And you should be able to check off these things on your own list. Make it make sense. Make yourself equal to the partner. You know? The, per- the person that you're looking for. Make yourself at least equal. Or somewhat equal. You know what I mean? So all in all, her message was... What you asking for in a partner, you should be able to be that same thing with yourself. You know what I mean? You want financially stable? Okay, you should be financially stable too. In shape and fit? You should be in shape and fit. Nice teeth? Okay, you should have nice teeth too. Family oriented? Okay, you should be family oriented too. You know? Why would people be upset by this? Honestly. But I know why. Because they're calling out people double standards. Which, I understand why people would get upset, but still, like, come on. You just be real with yourself. You know? Look at that list and see which of those things you could check off within yourself. Because another thing, your list may not be physically written down. Check in with yourself. Check in with your subconscious. Like, what are these things? I'm so picky. What are these things I'm looking for in a partner Okay, I figured it out. Okay, can I check off those things within myself? A lot of the times people can't. You looking for that partner, but come on, you got to be, make it make sense, make it somewhat equal, men and women. I know she mostly attacks women in her video, but come on, this is for the men out there too. You want that video, Vixen? Make sure your body's in shape too. I'm not saying you can't get that video, Vixen. And women, I'm not saying you can't get that dream man. But her message and what I agree with, make it comparable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make it somewhat comparable. That's all I have to say about this. I, I see why it was a big deal. Not that I'm even thinking about it even more. But, hey, you got to be real with yourself, first and foremost. Okay? So, yeah, thank you. And more videos coming soon.